Hey, this is Mr. Wiseman. This is just a review on ratios and rates. We've done this lesson before, but I thought I'd do a quick review in case you need to uh, check over for a quiz or a test. So first, a ratio is nothing more than a comparison of two numbers by division. And we could write that in one of three ways, and those three ways are right over here. We could write 1, 2, 2, and that's how we're going to say all three of these. 1 half or 1 to 2, and then the last one, 1, 2, 2, the colon uh, merely means 2 there. Uh, we've went over this example down here already, expressing the ratio number of states that begin with letter A. Of course, that is 2 out of 25. 25 because we reduce all fractions to their simplest form. Uh, the ratio of 9 eggs out of 3 dozen would be 1 to 4. Uh, because we convert the three dozen to 36, and then 936 reduces to one fourth. A rate is a ratio of two measurements with different units. So we talked about uh, miles per gallon, miles per gallon being m, oops, mph, mp, oops, not h, g. We actually talked about miles per hour, which is uh, something we see a little more frequently in our lives. Uh, there's also kilometers per hour. We usually abbreviate that KM with a slash per hour. This slash being um, standing for per. So anytime you see a slash like that, that always means per. So our two different measurements here, <clears throat> this would be Distance, this one would be uh, fuel. Here again, distance. Here, time. Distance, time. We could have other rates, uh, $1.99 per pound uh, for apples. That would be uh, price. That would be a weight. All these would be examples of rates. One specific rate that we have is a unit rate. And that's when a rate is so is simplified so it has a denominator of 1. Now, um, on the previous slide, I said $1.99 per pound. That would be a unit rate per pound. So anytime I have 1 in the denominator, that's going to be a unit rate. So that's a specific type of rate. If I don't have a one in the denominator, it's not going to be a unit rate. So again, unit rate has a one in the denominator. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions on this, you can always shoot me a message to quick message to Mr. Wiseman, or um, you can ask questions in class, of course, and uh, good luck.